Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Coach Brian here with CriticalBench.com and this one stretch is the best stretch you should be doing uh, right before you get to bed. The reason why it's the best stretch is because it pretty much unwinds the body from all the stress of the day. Uh, it helps take off the tension of the spine. It also increases just some relaxation, uh, hopefully giving you a better night's sleep tonight. So do this every night, it doesn't take long, maybe 30 seconds and that's it. So if you've got a low profile bed, you can sit on the edge of the bed, or if you've got a dining room table, or not dining room table, dining room chair, sit on that chair on the edge, and you're gonna mimic this position right here. You don't need a foam roller, all you need is a pillow, um, and that's pretty much it. So, as you can see, foam roller or the pillow is right between the knees. You're gonna sit up tall, back straight, you're gonna put the hands right here behind the head. Okay, first you're gonna arch back a little bit, and now you're gonna twist side to side. And then once you've maxed out your twist, you're gonna dip, trying to get that back elbow down to the floor. Release, return back to center. You can relax the shoulders for a little bit. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Twist, dip. Release and unravel the twist. The reason why we have this in here is because if I take this out of the equation and I do this, Look, my body, my lower body is going to start twisting with my, my upper body. So squeeze this, try to keep the lower body immobile, twist, and dip. Take some good cleansing breaths, breathe in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. You really only need to do three on each side. Do this nice and controlled. Even if uh, you want to close your eyes and do this, try to get some good relaxation techniques and start unwinding for a good night's sleep. So that's it, that's the number one exercise that you should do before bed. Hi, you're with me, Richie. So today, this is one of my favorite practices. This is a breathing practice that I do to help me sleep, help me calm down, help me find some chill time. So to start seated, I mean, first of all, we're gonna move into a lying position. You can do this seated if you need to. This also works as a relaxation technique, but the idea is you're trying to find a rhythm that feels right for you. And with our breathing, if we can really control how slow we release the exhalation and we start to internally count this rhythm. It triggers our nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system that helps us rest, digest and calm down. So if you had a really busy day, you've got a lot going on up here, this is a really nice way to wind things down and bring that level to a nice steady rhythm. Okay, so just starting, full breath in for the nose, ground yourself to the practice for about five minutes. You can also now just even register, is your mind busy? Have you got distracted already? Start to monitor and observe the breathing. As you breathe in, think about breathing in. As you breathe out, think about breathing out. And this gives you the control. It's all up here, okay? So we're gonna turn this now to a lying position. Your feet are gonna be flat. So imagine you're in bed. I often fall asleep like this. Hopefully I don't fall asleep now. But the idea is, I want you to really think about breathing lower. So 
placing the hands just here, elbows are relaxed, and your fingers just nice and spread over this lower part of your belly against the ribs. So I'm wanting to try and breathe and signal the breath. As you breathe in, go into the lower lungs and really find this little rise here as you breathe in. And then let the breath out nice and slow. Take another breath in. And let it all the way out. So keep going with that rhythm, but the trick is now to give you your own pace and tempo that feels comfortable. When you breathe in, you're gonna say breathe in for a count of three seconds, and we're gonna pause for around four to five seconds, or something that feels comfortable, but a significant pause, and you're gonna try and lengthen the exhalation as long as possible. So let's say I'm gonna breathe in for three seconds, I'm gonna hold for four, I'm gonna breathe out for five. So it gets a little bit longer. So let's do one example. Take a breath in, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. And then release, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Pause. Release. Get all the air out and then breathe in. Three, two, one. Pause. Four, three, two, one. And then release. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time. Inhale. Fill the lungs up, pause, and then release all the way out. Empty the air from the lungs. I'm sure you could stay there a little bit longer. It's very easy. The more you practice, the deeper you will go. But this again, really does take practice. It might not be easy if you've got a busy mind, but the idea is the more you find a rhythm that feels right for you and the more you really take time to internally making this count suitable to the way you feel, you'll start to get longer and longer with the exhalation and you feel more and more grounded 